Hello everyone, welcome to Draw Online. Today we will start in uh, Crash, that is Animal Kingdom, right? Animal Kingdom, as, it, as its name suggests, the whole animals which belongs to different kinds of phylums, the different classes, subclasses, orders, super orders, right? So, different kingdoms. So, basically all that... Uh, these animals belongs to animal kingdom because animal that is that's why it is called the animal kingdom right we know uh, we studied about them according to their evolutionary history their characteristic features right in uh, the habitat in which they live right and what are their zoological names right but we'll study in the form of the questions clear so come to the first one that is match the column in first column, they, these are the zoological name of the uh, animals, right? And the common names is given in that particular page. This is given in NCERT. Page number 59, right? In NCRT, it is given in page number 59, right? So, we have to know that Columba, that Columba word is used for the pigeon, right? Columba is the pigeon. Then Corvus, that is crow. Sitacula is the name of the parrot. And Macaca, Macaca Mulata is the name of the monkey, right? So, you have to learn these names. And the very easiest way to uh, just these, uh, you call your friends by these names, right? Right? So, uh, these, uh, in that pattern, you will be easily learn these names, right? So, it's not a typical task, right? So, according to that, when we match the options right that a3 a3 is given in b and d so a and c option is cancelled right corvus corvus that is b b2 b2 is given in both c uh, c is 4 c is 4 given in bombay so answer is bombay right all uh, these uh, that is crow pigeon parrot they belongs to the aves now that is they are the birds clear now come to the next again that is the match the column which is given in uh, ncrt page number 59 right struthio pavocrystus nephron and the abteno struthio is ostrich pavocrystus pavocrystus that is the peacock clear Nephron, uh, neophron that is the vulture and aptenodites that is the penguin right so when we match these columns the a3 a3 is present in c and d so a and b option is cancelled right and what will happen in that uh, next that is b1 b1 is present in both c Two. C2 is present in D option, so the answer is D, right? And the fourth one, aptenodites, that is the penguin, name of the penguin, right? Now, come to the next. Name of the animals with the common name, that taropus is the name of the flying fox, balanoptera is the blue whale, ornithorhynchus, that is the platypus, and the macropus is the kangaroo, right? The macropus is the kangaroo. So, A2, A2 is present in both, that is A and B cancelled. B1, B1 is present in both. C3, C3 is uh, C and the fourth ornithorhynchus, that is D4. So, answer is C, right? Come to the next question that is heart is four chambered in oviparous mammals and the crocodiles, right? Heart is four chambered when we talk about the evolutionary history of the heart as we know that
when we talk about the fishes in case of the fishes two chambered heart right that is one atria one ventricle clear and the fishes heart is the venous heart right fishes heart is the venous heart because in fishes heart only they carry only deoxygenated blood right only carry deoxygenated blood and even fishes heart shows the single circuit circulation fishes heart shows the it is the example of the single circuit circulation clear when we talk about the two chambered now three chambered heart according to ncert three chambered heart is present in the amphibians and the reptiles as well right actually in case of reptiles interventricular septum is not properly formed right so that's why according to ncrt it is three chambered heart but when we talk about in general right that is three and half chambered right so amphibians and reptiles heart is the three chambered two atria one ventricle in case of the amphibians and in case of the reptiles incomplete interventricular septum right incomplete inter ventricular septum right incomplete interventricular septum now what just because uh, in amphibians and reptiles the mixed blood uh, comes in the heart right the mixing of blood occurs in that there are two accessory chambers are also present right in amphibians both accessory chambers are present that is sinus venosus and truncus arteriosus right both these are but in case of reptiles only sinus venosus is present truncus arteriosus is absent only sinus venosus is present right truncus arteriosus is absent in case of the reptiles clear same as that when we talk about the aves aves that is birds and the mammals right birds and the mammals four chambered heart that is two atria two ventricle with complete interatrial septum and the interventricular septum right so same as that a heart is four chambered but what is that oviparous oviparous that is the egg laying mammal right that is egg laying mammal is the platypus and the echidna clear so uh, egg laying uh, that is oviparous in which the fertilization may be external or internal but the development is always external right these are called the oviparous animals so heart is four chambered it is correct right but what will happen in mammals and the crocodile right right uh, so this statement is correct now come to the next one 
different types of teeth that is heterodont dentition what is that heterodont dentition that means the is on the basis of structure and function they are they have different type of uh, structure and function right that is for example incisor canine premolar and the molar they comes under the heterodont dentition which are found only in the mammals so it is correct right which is found only in the mammals clear when we talk about that oviparous four chambered heart oviparous uh, that that is uh, based on the fertilization site right there are three types of animals on the basis of that first one is the oviparous fertilization may be external and internal right it may be external and internal but development is always external right now when we talk about the viviparous humans are the viviparous animals right humans sexually reproduce and they are the viviparous that means fertilization and development both are internal right both are internal and placental formation occur placenta formation clear in viviparous now the third category is the ovo vivi parous in ovo vivi parous also fertilization and development is internal but placenta formation absent placenta formation is absent it doesn't occur in the oviparous animals right so these are the type of uh, these are the types of the and in oviparous egg laying animals are there oviparous are the egg laying animals viviparous are child laying viviparous are child laying right all these are the question of pre medical but in uh, mammals mammals are the examples of the viviparous actually right but exceptional case are there that is the platypus right ornithorhynchus and the echidna both are both of them are the uh, oviparous both are the oviparous animals right so both of them statements are correct so the answer is bombay right in that case the answer is the bombay clear come to the next choose the correct statement all chordates have the tetrapod plan of the limbs is it right no they uh, they don't have the tetrapod plan of the limbs right limbless some limbless chordates are also there they are not the tetrapods right so that statement is wrong mammals can not fly some mammals can fly right so that is also wrong oviparous mammals have indirect development this is wrong right this is also wrong what is that indirect and direct development that means indirect development means when uh, the larval stage is present then it is called the indirect development and when there is absence of the larval stage then it is called the direct development so oviparous mammals have the direct development because larval stages are absent in the oviparous mammals we are talking about the mammals right that's why so all 
options are incorrect so the answer is none fifth d clear come to the next mammals and birds are only homeothermic animal what is that homeothermic animal that means who can maintain their body temperature right internally we can maintain our body temperature now right so this statement is correct all the birds are characterized by the presence of the feathers and flight no right for example we can uh, take the example of the penguin also right so uh, that statement is wrong so the answer is only a is correct right only a is correct clear birds cannot swim right or wrong some birds can swim right so that is wrong hairs are present only in the mammals right crop and gizzard are present in the birds and the cockroaches right long bones of uh, birds have a little amount of marrow no the bones of uh, birds is hollow and pneumatic right the birds are hollow and pneumatic so that statement is also wrong so the answer is a and d right answer is a and d that is seventh uh, seventh answer d now come to the next right that is three chambered heart can be found in amniotes and an amniotes both is it right or wrong now the question is what is amniotes on the basis of presence or absence of the extra embryonic membrane amnion right we classify the uh, animals into amniotes and anamniotes right if the extra embryonic membrane amnion is present then they are called the amniotes and if the uh, uh, extra embryonic membrane amnion is absent then they are called the anamniotes right then they are called the anamniotes so three chambered heart is found in anamniotes and amniotes both yes it's correct right in reptiles birds mammals right so in some they are the amniotes and some anamniotes are also there three chambered heart clear then uh, mammals have four chambered heart right so development is indirect in amphibia and ostic thighs indirect that is development of the uh, that is the involvement of the larval stage in amphibia in case of frog we can say the tadpole larva is present in case of frog but in ostic thighs there is no indirect development so that statement is wrong right so the answer is a 8th a only a is correct clear dry skin is found in reptiles and birds we know that the scaly scale, uh, scaly skin is present in the reptiles even the birds skin is the dry right so it is correct all the reptiles and amphibians are the tetrapods all the reptiles and the amphibians are the tetrapods yes right so both statement are correct but in some reptiles we can see the limbs uh, in uh, embryonic stage the limbs are present but gradually they decreases right now come to the next how many pairs are correct internal fertilization reptiles birds and mammals come to the next question that is how many pairs pairing are correct right internal fertilization is present in reptiles birds and mammals exactly present in uh, internal fertilization is present in reptiles birds and mammals all right skin cast that is scaling uh, the uh, sloughing of skin is present in both right so in uh, skin cast is seen in that uh, in the uh, snakes and the lizard reptiles they do not have the external ear opening that means we can say the reptiles have the external ear opening is absent in reptiles right all these are the lines of the ncert actually right that canis is the name of the dog and cat is the name of the phallus is the name of the cat so both are incorrect panthera that is tiger and lion exactly right but ichthyophis is a belongs to pisces no ichthyophis belongs to the amphibian and it is the limbless amphibian right ichthyophis is the limbless 
amphibian clear so answer how many pairs are correct four pairs are correct so answer is four right come to the next question select the incorrect statement in case of the amphibians right incorrect statement in case of the amphibians cloaca receives the openings from the urinary tract and the reproductive tract it is correct right it is correct actually cloaca receives opening from the digestive tract correct there are three modes of the respiration in amphibians the cutaneous respiration the buccopharyngeal respiration and the pulmonary respiration right and uh, most in most of the cases cutaneous respiration occurs right so that statement is also correct there are three modes of respiration they can live on land they can live on land exactly they can right so there is no incorrect statement so that option is that is the answer is the none right the answer is none there is no incorrect statements now come to the how many things are correct about ostic thighs right how many things are correct about the ostic thighs marine and fresh water both ostic thighs is what how many things are correct about the ostic thighs they are the uh, class of the fishes right these ostic thighs fishes are both marine as well as the fresh water right so that statement is correct uh, they have the ostic thighs that's why the, the name of the ostic thighs is based on their skeleton type of skeleton they have the bony skeleton right they have the bony endoskeleton so that statement is also correct mouth is ventral no mouth is terminal right mouth is terminal so ventral is not that is incorrect 6 to 15 pairs of gills no only 4 pairs of gills are present right that's why it is also incorrect operculum is present dress operculum is present air bladder is present scales are the tenoid and the cycloid both type of scales are found in these uh, in these ostic thighs fishes right so correct so 1 2 3 4 5 6 six statements are correct so the answer is c clear now come to the next question mouth is terminal in chondritic thighs fishes and development is indirect in ostic thighs fishes right mouth is terminal in ostic thigh fishes no mouth is terminal in uh, ostic thighs fishes but not in the chondritic thighs fishes so that statement is wrong development is direct in ostic thighs fishes correct so the answer is bombay right only b is correct so answer is 13th b ichthyophis is a uh, ichthyophis is the limbless amphibian right so that is a3 pterophyllum is the angel fish right that is b4 exocetus is the flying fish exocetus is the flying fish and betta it is the uh fighting fish right so that's why in the uh, fish aquarium in the house we will not prefer to uh, betta in that uh, because it attacks on the another fishes and uh, kill them right so the uh, a3 a3 in a and b that is c and d cancel B four B four is present in both C one, sorry C two C two that is answer is Bombay, clear? Exocetus flying flying fish. It can fly up. Uh, it can be fly uh, from the sea surface up to six meters, right? come to the next question that is match the column animal with their common name hippocampus hippocampus is the name of the sea horse right they are very small tiny right but it looks like a horse their uh, body shape is looks like a horse with a prehensile tail little bit right so uh, hippocampus is known as the sea horse that is a2 right trigon trigon is the stingray trigon is the stingray carcharodon that is the great white shark 
and the pristus is the sawfish right pristus is the sawfish so simply a2 a2 present in c and d option b1 in both c3 answer is c clear come to the next fertilization is internal in chondritic thighs while external is ostic thighs correct ostic thighs are oviparous while chondritic thighs are viviparous correct so the answer is both correct right when we talk about the ostic thighs they are in most of the cases they are the oviparous right and development is the direct clear so come to the next question that is 17th again match the column it is based on the notochord and the examples of the animal right absent in adults absent in adults notochord is absent in adults in frog head to tail in adults in lancelet notochord is present in head to tail in adults in lancelet throughout the life present in the scoliodon that is the dogfish right and larval tail is present in the skidna right that is present in the skidna so a4 a and b c d cancel b3 c2 that is answer is a clear come to the next question that is 18th how many characters are true for the cyclostomata right cyclostomata cyclostomata is the class uh, all the living members of the cyclostomata are the ectoparasites but they are ectoparasites on some fishes not on the amphibians so so that statement is wrong right 6 to 15 pairs of the gill slits are present it's correct mouth is absent no mouth is present and the they have the sucking and circular mouth but without jaws right that's why they are uh, comes under the agnathostomata right so mouth is absent there is devoid of scales so uh, scales are absent and vertebral column cartilaginous vertebral column is present in uh, uh, these cyclostomata so that statement is also wrong so only one statement is true for the cyclostomata that is answer is the one right a now come to the next cyclostom cannot be found in the fresh water this statement is right or wrong that statement is wrong spawning in cyclostomata always found in sea no it is it occurs in the fresh water right so both statements are wrong both statements are wrong so the answer is d right as just before we know that they are they are the marine and the fresh water both right they are marine and the fresh water both clear how many characters are true for the chordates right notochord always in embryo wrong right notochord is always replaced by bony vertebral column in adults no all are the all chordates are the vertebrates no ventral heart yes heart is ventrally situated right chordates have notochord is present in the chordates the central nervous system is the dorsal hollow and the Sing, uh, single right and the heart is the ventral pharynx and uh, pharynx is perforated by the gill slits so these are the characters of the chordates right so ventral heart is present so the just one option is correct the another one is the another statement is the wrong right come to the next chordates have dash and dash heart right that is chordates have the closed circulatory system with the ventral heart right so the answer is a and we know that what is the closed circulatory system and open circulatory system that means when the blood does not remain confined into the blood vessels right and this is called the open type of circulatory system which is present in the insects right and closed circulatory system when the blood remains confined into the blood vessels 
right that is called the closed circulatory system and heart is ventral in the chordates that's why the first option a is correct right in open circulatory system in case of the insects there is hemocele right in which the colorless fluid hemolymph is present now come to the next that is select the group of the animals which are exclusively marine in reference to their phyla right that is uh balanoglossus gorgonia sea lily no they are not exclusively marine bala Psychoglossus, Hormiphora, Labio, na freshwater fish, right? Pleurobrachia, brittle star, Echinus. Yes, these are the exclusively marine. And Tenoplana, Hydra, and Balanoglossus. No. So the answer is C, right? Come to the next. That is twenty-three in Mollusca and Echino in Mollusca, Echinodermata, and the Hemichordata. respiratory organs are same no respiratory organs are not same body is divisible into three parts no similar uh, similar symmetry in the adults no right and similar symmetry in the larva larval symmetry is same but the uh, adult in case of uh, adults they are they shows the similar symmetry so it is wrong so answer is d 23 d match the column that is echinus echinus is the name of the sea urchin right echinus is the name of the sea urchin antidon sea lily cucumeria is the name of the <coughs> sea cucumber and ophiura that is brittle star so all are in matched form right so the answer is 1 2 3 4 so answer is c now come to the next question in echinoderms the mouth and anus are respectively present mouth is lower and anus is the upper that is mouth is lower ventral and anus is the upper dorsal right so the answer is c in echinoderms water vascular system helps in the locomotion capture of food excretion locomotion respiration respiration excretion transportation of food or the all right so the answer that vascular system helps in all those functions that is it helps in the locomotion as well it helps in the capturing of the food as well it helps in the respiration it helps in the transportation of food and it helps in the excretion as well so the answer is d sepia match the column uh, match the column and name of the animal with their common name sepia sepia is the name of the cuttlefish right so a aplasia that is Eflasia that is the name of the sea hare right loligo loligo is the name of the squid and dentalium is the name of the tusk shell as name tusk and dentalium so they resemble with each other right so a3 that is both are cancelled a3 b4 present in both c2 that is answer is the bombay right Which one of the following groups may have the calcareous endoskeleton? Calcareous endoskeleton is present in that is the calcium endoskeleton, right? It is present in the echinodermates, the nidaria, and the porifera. It is the characteristic feature of that, right? So the answer is C. It is not found in the. Uh, it is present in the nidaria and porifera, but absent in the mollusca, right? It is present in the echinodermata, but in tenophora and mollusca it is absent right so the correct answer is the echinodermata nidaria and the porifera now come to the next how many characters are true about the arthropoda arthropoda that is arthros and jointed legs right in that phylum jointed legs are present it is the largest phylum of the whole animal kingdom due to the presence of the largest class insecta right circulatory system is open yes exo uh, skeleton of chitin exactly chitin uh, chitinous structure is present which is made up of the n glucosamine right uh, presence of the stratocyst yes eyes are compound and simple exactly fertilization is internal so all these statements are correct so the answer is the d clear come to the next Neris Neris is an annelid right Neris is an annelid and it is a it is dioecious animal right it is the dioecious animal 
which has the parapodias for the swimming right so the answer is bombay clear come to the next 31 that is metamoric segmentation starts from metamoric segmentation is the true segmentation which starts from the annelida even the closed circulatory system is also starts from the annelida right so the answer is the annelids in ascaris ascaris belongs to the phylum nematohelminthes which is also known as the asclementhes right females are longer than the males and uh, they have the characterized uh, and male have the uh, curved tail right male have the curved tail in uh, case of the nematohelminthes right so when we talk about the ascaris females are longer then the males and characterized by the absence of the curved tail right so the answer is d this is the characteristic feature of the nematohelminthes or the asclementhes right now come to the 33 again the match the column porifera porifera belongs to the sponges uh, all the sponges comes under the phylum porifera right so a Plate helminthes that is flat worm, Tinophora that is sea walnut, and Asclementhes that is the round worm. So, A uh, four that is A and B cancelled, B three present in both c1 that is answer is c clear flat worms are flat worms belongs to the phylum platyhelminthes which uh, uh, it is the exclusive phylum which is uh, in which all the members are the worms right all the members are the worms and these flat worms are dorso ventrally flattened that means on the ventral portion even and dorsal portion both they are flat and they mostly they are the ectopara uh, mostly they are the endoparasites they are not ectoparasites they are the endoparasites right because they uh, attacks on the internal system right so they are the endoparasites so the answer is dorso uh, dorso ventrally right so in that case first one is cancel endo ecto both cancel so answer is the c right come to the next all the flat worms have the hooks and the sucker is it right or wrong exactly it is uh, wrong right all the flat worms don't have the suckers and the hooks right pharynx is muscular in ascaris correct Fertilization is internal in helminths, correct. Asexual reproduction in the animals mainly takes place through the budding, correct. In case of hydra, right. So, uh, the statement B, C and D is correct and A is incorrect. So, the answer is Bombay, B, C, D are correct, right. Come to the next, 36th. Both the extracellular and intracellular digestion is found in that is present in the nidaria, right? That is present in the nidaria and the tenophoras, right? Because in porifera, protozoa, intracellular, inter, intracellular digestion is takes place, right? Asclementhus porifera, even intracellular, right? In humans, extracellular, but in nidaria extracellular as well as extracellular followed by intracellular is present so the answer is bombay match the column right match the column that is uh, polyp and medusa that is related with the which phylum nidaria or the cylindrata polyp and medusa they are the two body forms actually right they are the two body forms so what will happen polyp shows the asexual reproduction sexual reproduction sessile so actually polyp is polyp shows the asexual reproduction right so sexual reproduction is show uh, is not uh, for the uh, by the polyp right what will happen again uh, 
सेसाइल पॉलेपार सेसाइल एग्जैक्टली देन फ्री स्विमिंग नो सेसाइल एंड फ्री स्विमिंग बोथ आर अपोजिट टू ईच अदर दैट्स वाई सेसाइल इज हेयर सो फ्री स्विमिंग इज एबसेंट ट्यूबुलर एग्जैक्टली दे हैव ट्यूबुलर राइट अम्ब्रेला शेप इज द मेडोसा अम्ब्रेला शेप इज द मेडोसा एडेमसिया इज द एग्जाम्पल राइट सो एडेमसिया इज द पॉलिफ फॉर्म ऑरेलिया दैट इज जेलीफिश दैट शोज द मेडोसा ओबेलिया ओबेलिया इज नॉट रिलेटेड विद दैट एंड हाइड्रा हाइड्रा शोज द पॉलिफ फॉर्म राइट सो Medusa, sexual reproduction, right? Then Medusa is the free swimming, right? Then umbrella shaped, then Aurelia, right? So A, one, three, five, seven. A one three. One three five seven. One three five seven or ten, right? One three five seven ten. Is that is the answer is in between the A and uh, sorry C and D. B. That is two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. That is answer is C, right? Obelia is not belongs to the Nidaria. Clear? Obelia uh, belongs to the polyp form, right? So, but answer is the C. Come to the next. That is, Mata Genesis is found in. Metagenesis is found in the Obelia, Aurelia, Hydra, Adamsia. So metagenesis is found in the Obelia, right? Metagenesis is found in the Obelia. Now the question is, what is metagenesis? Metagenesis is the metagenesis is the alternation of generation right metagenesis is the alternation of the generation which is present in the obelia clear come to the next that is 39th gorgonia is the name of sea fan that is a1 madrena that is the brain coral right spongela spongela is the fresh water sponge Use spongy as the bath sponge, right? Use spongy as the bath sponge. So, the correct option is A one. A one is present in A and C. So B and D cancel. B two, B two present in both. C four, C four. That is answer is. C right come to the next question opening of the gastrovascular cavity in nidarians is called it is called the mouth opening of the gastrovascular cavity in nidarians is called the mouth the new uh, the nidarian is also known as the cilentrates right it is also known as the cilentrates gastrovascular cavity is present in cilentrate extracellular uh, followed by the intracellular digestion is present in the cilentrates right hydra is the example clear come to the next identify the given structure respectively first uh, diagram shows the radial symmetry it is the uh, these are the diagrams of the ncert it shows the radial symmetry right and it shows the bilateral symmetry right well as you show in that bilateral symmetry when we divide in at one plane the it, uh, animal uh, is divided into two equal half right that's why it is called the bilateral symmetry so the answer is radial symmetry clear 
asymmetrical asymmetrical uh, is shows by the sponges asymmetrical symmetry is present in the sponges now what is asymmetry that means uh, from any plane we cannot divide into equal halves right so that's why they are called the asymmetrical right bilateral symmetrical uh, from one center one cent, uh, one plane at center right we divide that animal into two equal halves right so these are the example bilateral symmetry bilateral symmetry is present in the annelids and the arthropods right and radial symmetry is shown by the cellentrata tinophora and echinodermata right they shows the radial symmetry that first diagram is the coelomate right it belongs actually it is it depends upon the coelom right so first diagram shows the coelomate this is the coelom clear this is called the pseudo coelom that's why pseudo coelomate right and that third one is the a coelomate that third one is the a coelomate right so now a b c are the type of the body which are found respectively in actually in a, it is the diagram of ncrt which is given in page number 48 right so cockroach show the uh, coelomate right uh, uh, cockroach coelomate then uh, ascaris pseudo coelomate right nematohelminthes pseudo coelomate uh, animals and the tinea that is a coelomate right so the answer is c clear so the answer is c now come to the next identify 1 2 3 4 respectively actually this is the di diagram which represents the chordate characteristic features and it is given in ncrt page number 55 right that one shows the nerve cord that one represents the nerve cord that two represents the notochord that four represents the post anal tail and that third is represents the gill slits right so 1 2 3 4 are respectively notochord uh, sorry nerve cord notochord that is both of these cancels nerve cord notochord clear then third one is the gill slits and fourth one is the post anal tail so the answer is bombay clear come to the next identify the uh, symmetry in a and b right that b is the acedia right that b uh, that b diagram is the acedia which belongs to the urochordata phylum and that uh, that is the pleurobrachia pleuro brachia right this is the pleuro brachia and it belongs to the tinophora acedia belongs to the euro chordata right so when we talk about this symmetry right so symmetry tinophora shows the radial symmetry uh, just will uh, see here right tinophora shows the radial symmetry right and acedia shows the bilateral symmetry right so the answer is c clear 
Eurocordata phylums animals shows the bilateral symmetry. Come to the next. Identify the class of this animal. This belong. This is the jawless animal, right? Agnatha. It belongs to the Agnatha, so that's why it belongs to the Cyclostomata, right? This it belongs to the class Cyclostomata. Actually, it is the diagram of the Petromyzon. Petromyzon. It is jawless vertebrate, right? It is jawless. vertebrate clear jawless vertebrate and common name is also known as the lamprey also known as the lamprey right so it belongs to the class cyclostomata clear cyclostomata the another example of cyclostomata is the magzin or the hackfish clear so this is all about the animal kingdom yeah thank you